just got home from that run and realised I left my sonnies sitting on the front of the car. So I went back to look for them, but they're gone. I couldn't find them. Had them for about four days, so yeah, spewing. But oh, well. it's Tuesday. I just uh, did 10k ish run. It's about 10 and a half, I think. It's 20 past five. I had an early start for work, so I had to run in the Arvo. Oh, be weak. Had the uh, had the day off running yesterday. I've been feeling, just being honest, I've been feeling super flat, probably since like Sunday afternoon, and like even all, oy, even all day today. Ah. Even all day today, I've been feeling pretty uh, pretty crap. But I went for that run, and I feel like a million bucks. Feel way better. So. On that early grind again. It's uh, 6 a.m. About to go do my hill reps. Eight times four. Well, eight times four minutes hard up and down. It's gonna be brutal. It's freezing. I'm gonna be complaining about the cold a lot for the next, pretty much until I go to Europe because winter. But uh, I forgot my gloves. Just gonna go get them done. Super hard, it's always hard. But uh, it was fun, my legs are mounted though. Just everything burning, my hands are numb. But it uh, feels good to uh, get another one done. Pushed pretty hard on those ones, I didn't do a workout on Tuesday, so it went pretty hard. Just getting a bit of uh, morning sun. Before I jog back to the car, I got about 3Ks cool down, so. So that was the session from this morning. Every all my runs are on Strava, so if you want to look at like the numbers or whatever, it's, it's all on there. So on my lunch break now, I'm just gonna go and grab something to eat, and I'll show you what I get. I've had there's a few guys in the comments being interested in uh, to see what kind of food I eat, so I'll show you. <laughs> So that's pretty much my diet, just variations of that. Heaps of rice, heaps of vegetables, fruit, oatmeal, peanut butter and GM on toast. That's pretty much it, all I eat. But um, I was thinking on my run this morning, I've been a bit worried the last couple of days as I've been feeling so tired. I'm uh, feeling better today actually, but uh, I reckon, I'm pretty sure I'm seven weeks into this training block. So I reckon it's just general fatigue that's normal from training consistently for that amount of time. It's just hard to distinguish that kind of normal fatigue that you should get, the deeper you get into a training block, you should get fatigue before you taper. Uh, and then the, like on burnout, just need to take a break and recoup that kind of fatigue. But I don't think it's that. I've been feeling good on all my runs, finishing feeling good, motivation's still good, workout's been going well, like that one this morning went really well. So I reckon I'm all good. I don't think I'm like cooked or anything like that. I'm just... Uh, uh, like I said in the last video, I'm really cautious with it because it's just so much better to get to the start line a little bit underdone than even the slightest bit overdone. Once once you're there, you're ruined. So it's been throwing me off a bit because I haven't been running very many k's, only like 80ish a week, uh, but lots of early starts and work and stuff. So 
Speaking of work, I'm going back there now. I'll uh, check back in a bit later. Old faves here for tea, brown rice, black beans, avocado, and sriracha. Gotta have the sriracha sauce, that's the key. I've known this for ages though, I've forgotten how good it is. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. It's half past five now. I've done 21,883 steps today, which I thought was a pretty sh stupid like, thing when I got this watch, but I've been addicted to seeing how many I can do, do every day. So I'll just eat this and then I'll pretty much just go to bed, get that good rest in. But uh, this weekend, I'm, uh, I reckon I'm going to try and head back to the Grampians and camp a couple of nights. Forgot how good it is over there, so I reckon I'll just try and make a weekend out of it and uh, get some good running in and try and make, uh, make a cool video. It was kind of a rush trip uh, last weekend. Really want to fly the drone over there, so I reckon I'm going to do that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you then. Thanks for watching. On the uh, telly at Pace Athletic, that's pretty sick. Coconut yogurt, coconut water.